Ladies and gentlemen, on this extra day of save and support Thor News, we have to raise $150 to make rent tomorrow. One of the reasons that I've been under so much trouble is because I tell you guys the truth. We we're over at NBC Mock. I don't even know what that means, man. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to display to you how my truth telling can be problematic. Okay, a hole opens up under Antarctic Glacier. Dash big enough to fit two thirds of Manhattan. Scientists say if Thwaites collapses, it could trigger a catastrophic rise in global sea levels, flooding coastal cities around the world. So, yeah, we've got a giant hole that has opened up in the Antarctic that could be big problems for mankind. Now, here's the truth telling part. I wonder if that has anything to do with the 91 volcanoes that were discovered in August last year under the Antarctic ice sheet. This is in addition to the 47 already known about, and the eruption would melt more ice in the region affected by climate change. And it has been my position the whole time that the sun is changing, the earth is changing, and the volcanoes are changing. Because yes, there is a direct correlation and causation between the sun and volcanoes. It's not all, all just carbon, man. And so, with that knowledge that they found a bunch of volcanoes under the Antarctic ice sheet, let us look at this article by Denise Chow. Today, scientists have discovered an enormous void under the Antarctic glacier, sparking concern that the ice sheet is melting faster than anyone has realized. And there are more volcanoes there than anyone had realized. And spotlighting the dire threat posed by rising seas to coastal cities around the world, including New York City, Miami, and basically anywhere along the coast. Yeah, I mean, we got big changes. Everything's weird. The video I just posted before this, which was edited and awesome, is about how our magnetic field, our magnetic north pole is moving a lot faster, and it's alarming scientists. So we got a lot of changes, which is one of the reasons that for the last three years I've been doing this full time, trying to get people to recognize that uh, we have big changes and that we have to adapt our infrastructure and our entire system or we're going to get steamrolled. And in the, that exact time, the media has been doing what it can to pump the divide and conquer in everybody's brains as much as possible. And honestly, they've done a wonderful job as supervillains. The cavity under Thwaites Glacier in West Antarctic is about six miles long and a thousand feet deep, representing the loss of 14 billion tons of ice. It was discovered after an analysis of data collected by Italian and German satellites, as well as NASA's Operation Ice Bridge a program in which aircraft equipped with ice-penetrating radar fly over polar regions to study the terrain. This is described in a paper published January 30th in the journal Science Advances. The researchers expect to see significant loss of ice, but the scale of the void came as a shock. The size of the cavity is surprising, and as it melts, it's causing the glacier to retreat, said Pietro Mirillo a radar scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California, and the paper's lead author. He said the ice shelf encompassing the Florida-sized glacier is retreating at a rate in excess of 650 feet per year, and that most of that melting that led to the void occurred during the past three years. And we've been seeing a lot of significant strange weather. I mean, in the last two years alone, the United States has been hit by six hurricanes. Well, the United States and its colonies. Previous research showed that the meltwater from the Thwaites accounts for about 4% of the global sea level rise, said Ted Scambos, a senior research scientist at the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado, who was not involved with the new study. If the loss of ice becomes so severe that the glacier collapses, something computer models predict could happen in 50 to 100 years. I think it'll happen faster than that, though. Sea levels would rise by two feet. And remember, the UN gave us 12 years before, like, everything goes underwater. 
or whatever they said, but they basically put a 12 year timeline on it. And in my theory of planetary angular orbital momentum, we're going to have six major years of volcanoes and earthquakes and weird weather from now to then until Jupiter gets on the other side to balance things out. If the loss of ice becomes so severe that the glacier collapses, something computer, oh yeah, that's an, sea levels would rise by two feet. That's enough to inundate coastal cities across the globe. It's completely plausible. Adding Thwaites has a really perfect storm going for it, a reference to the fact that parts of the glacier lie below sea level and are thus especially vulnerable to melting by seawater. Discovery of the void comes as Scambos and other American and British scientists are gearing up for a major new research initiative. The five-year international Thwaites Glacier Collaboration will use robots and ocean weather stations, as well as more than a dozen seals fitted with sensors designed to collect data about a glacial ice and the surrounding water. This paper really helps put a bullseye on some of the places we want to study, Scambo said. Want more stories about the environment? From a very truth-telling point of view, then do your best to save and support Thor News. I got 150 bucks to go. About 14 hours left. And um, so I survive and thrive off your contributions. And I've done everything I can to bring you guys the truth. To try and bring people together. Um, so if you want to reward all my hard work, I would appreciate it. I will leave my PayPal link in the information box. And God bless everyone. And please send as many prayers as you can. Because the last year and a half, I've been under attack in so many ways. Thought it'd get easier, but no, no, it hasn't. All right, everybody stay cool. God bless you. May the force be with you always, and let us live long and prosper together.